One statistic that never fails to amaze me is the claim by Boeing that the 737 lands or takes off every 2 seconds. Airbus makes a similar statement about its Airbus A320 series. Now the 737 and the A320 are so universal that you'll be guaranteed to fly in either one of them on short haul flights. Both models have collected more than 16,000 orders but passengers may be experiencing something better. Last year, Swiss International Airlines became the first carrier in the world to fly the Bombardier C-Series. It currently flies 5 CS100s from Zurich to many European cities. The 125-seater planes are borrowed from Lufthansa Airlines, which has ordered 30 C-Series and expects to receive another 12 planes later this year. Now, Air Baltic became the first airline to fly the CS300, which is a larger variant configured with 145 seats. Delta Airlines and Air Canada have also placed an order for the C-Series, which accounts to one third of the global sales. Now after struggling with production delays and budget overruns, the C-Series is now enjoying a smooth entry into service. Airlines love the plane for its reliability and its fuel efficiency, which Bombardier claims is up to 20% better than the competing current generation aircraft. Passengers also seem to like the onboard experience, with its large windows high humidity and low noise levels. The seating layout of 2-3 means that only 1 in every 5 passengers must tolerate a middle seat, compared with a third on most 737s and A320s. Plus Air Baltic and Swiss Airlines are compensating those passengers by adding half an inch to the standard seat. Compared to many operators of Boeing and Airbus planes going in the opposite direction by making their passengers endure seats of 17 inches. Now it's worth noting that the C-Series is the only new pretender in the skies. Last year, CityJet received the first three of 15 Sukhoi Superjets, which are manufactured by a Russian company. Now from what I've read, passengers seem to be impressed with the plane, particularly its spacious cabins. Still however, sales are weak compared to the C-Series. Now people like us will have to wait before experiencing the other mid-sized short-haul aircraft, the Embraer E2 Jets. Deliveries are expected to commence this year, and also, the Chinese-made Comac C919 should follow soon after. It was a cool move by Airbus to purchase a large stake in the Bombardier company, and Boeing purchasing stakes in Embraer, it just goes to show how the regional market is still yet to develop. Now although all emphasis is placed on Boeing and Airbus aircraft, I thought it would be cool to give the smaller jets the spotlight also so I expect many more videos on regional jets in the near future. Thank you so much for watching my fellow aviators, if you enjoyed the video give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one.